Well, welcome to Chanun Tutorial. Ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay ang trigonometric substitution or ang integration by trigonometric substitution. Pero bago natin simulan, don't forget to click the like, share, and subscribe button. And also click the notification bell para ma-notify ka naman or ma-notify ka sa mga next uploads natin. Okay. Sa trigonometric substitution ay may mga condition din tayong sinusunod. Ito ay nahati sa tatlong part. Ang TS1, TS2, at TS3. Okay. Sa part ng trigonometric substitution ay kailangan marunong din tayo gumamit ng Swakatoa or to be specific yung uh, sa part ng plane trigonometric uh, the function of a right triangle or in short yung Swakatoa na tinatawag natin. Okay. Ito ay ang mga conditions natin. Ang TS1. Okay. When the integrand contains a squared minus u squared gagamitan natin ito ng u is equal to a sin theta na trigonometric substitution. Okay, let's, uh, for example, ito yung, uh, ito yung right triangle natin. At nandito yung theta. So, u sin u over a equal to sin theta. Okay? Uh, basic, so, kataba lang naman yan. So, sa second condition, TS2, when the integrand contains u squared plus a squared, kagamit tayo ng u is equal to a tangent theta. When the integrand contains Uh, u squared minus a squared kagamit naman tayo ng u is equal to a second theta so yun ay para sa TS3 or condition TS3 so yan yan no u is equal to a second theta okay kailangan alam nyo rin tong mga triangles na ito kasi ito yung basis natin sa pag uh, sa sub ng mga givens or ng integrand okay to simplify we assume that the theta the theta is an acute angle And the u is the differentiable function of x, and the a is any number. So, ayun yung mga indications na mga letters natin yan. Okay, para ma-practice natin, sagutan natin yung exercise 10.5 number 1. We have the integral of x squared dx all over by the square root of 4 minus x squared. Okay, so meron tayong 4 minus x squared dito na equal to 2 squared minus x squared where the a is equal to 2 and the u is equal to x so itong 4 uh, minus x squared ay under the condition TS1 so TS1 so ang gagamitin natin u substitution or trigonometric substitution ay ang u is equal to a sin theta so yan ay equal to this is the theta so u a and this is 4 minus x squared Ayan. Okay, ang next na gagawin natin ay hanapan natin ang value, ang x squared, dx, at ang square root of 4 minus x squared. So, since ito yung napili natin, or ito yung pumasok sa condition natin, ito ang gagamitin natin as value of x. So, u is equal to x, is equal to 2 sin theta, d theta, I mean, sakto theta. So, dx is equal to 2 cos theta, d theta. Okay? May value na tayo ng dx. Ang x squared ay wala pa. Pero pwede natin erase tong uh, equation ba natin sa 2. Para makaroon tayo ng value ng x squared. 4 sin squared theta. Ayan, kompleto na. May x squared na tayo. May dx na tayo. At uh, wala pa tayong value ng square root of 4 minus x squared. Okay? Para makuha natin yan, ay gagamit lang tayo ng sokotowa. So, yan ay square root of 4 minus x squared is equal to A. Ang A natin is 2. 2 cos theta. Ayan. Pwede na natin isab. So, integral of x squared ay equal to 4 sin theta. Sin squared theta multiplied by dx ay 2 cos theta d theta all over by the square root of 4 minus x squared ay 2 cos theta. So, cancellation ng 2 cos theta. So, ang natira ay the integral of or 4 integral of sin squared theta okay d theta ayan so hindi pa natin pwedeng i-integrate directly yan kaya pwede pa natin itong gamitan ng uh, trigonometric uh, identities so ayan ay uh, equal to 4 integral of 1 minus cosine 2 theta d theta all over by 2 so 4 over 2 is 2 2 integral of Okay, d theta, I mean, oh, yeah, d theta, 
minus 2 integral of cosine 2 theta d theta. So, ito na ngayon ang i-integrate natin. So, 2 integral, 2 integral of d theta is equal to 2 theta minus 2 integral of cosine 2 theta is equal to uh, 1 over 2 sine 2 theta plus the constant. Okay? So, 2 over 2, over 2 is equal to 1. So, pwede nang tanggalin. Saka natin isasub yung mga value ng theta sa nakuha natin. Okay? Since wala naman tayong direct value ng sine 2 theta sa mga nakuha natin givens, ay gagamitan natin yan ng identities na double angle formula. So, sine 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta multiplied by cosine theta. So, 2 theta, ang theta natin from uh, this uh, equation ay equal to arc sine x over 2. Arc sine x over 2 minus 2 multiplied by sine theta. Sine theta ay ito or ito. So, sine theta is equal to x over 2. Multiply by cosine theta. Itong part na to ay square root of 4 minus x squared all over by 2 plus the constant. So, sa part na to ay kailangan na lang natin simplify yung mga sagot natin. So, ito ay okay na. 2 over 2. Cancellation magiging 1. So, the final answer is equal to arc sine x over 2 minus x square root of 4 minus x squared all over by 2 plus the constant. So, ito na yung tamang sagot. Okay, problem number 2. We have the integral of dx all over by x multiplied by the square root of 3x squared. I mean, 9x squared minus 4. Minus ba? Okay, plus 4. So, if you ayan. So, 9x squared is equal to 3x raised to 2 plus 4. So, ayan ay under sa TS2. So, ang U or ang substitution na gagamitin natin ay equal to 3x is equal to 2 tangent theta. Ayan. So, ito yung triangle natin. 3x theta. So, hypotenuse natin ay 9x squared minus 4. I mean, plus 4. Ayan. So, ganun lang ulit. No? Hahanapan muna natin ng values. Yung dx natin, yung x at itong hypotenuse or square root of x squared plus 4. So, ang x muna. Meron tayong 3x dito. So, kailangan lang natin i-divide yung 3. Ayan. So, dx naman ay equal to 2 third multiply by the differential or the derivative of tangent theta is equal to second square theta d theta okay may x na tayo may dx na tayo yung uh, hypotenuse na lang ang wala so gagamit tayo ng square root of 9x squared plus 4 is equal to 2 second theta so so katawa lang yan so, isab na natin. We have the integral of dx. dx ay equal to 2 third second uh, squared theta d theta all over by x ay 2 third then 2 third tangent theta. Okay. Multiply by the square root of 9x squared plus 4. So, ito yung equivalent value. 2 second theta. So, cancellation lang ulit, no? O, second theta. Patanggal yung isa. 2 third cancellation. So, ang natira ay 1 third, I mean 1 over 2, integral of second theta, d theta, all over by tangent theta. So, ito ngayon yung i-integrate natin. Pero, pwede pa natin itong simplify. Remember, ang second natin ay equal to 1 over cosine. At ang tangent ay equal to sine theta over cosine theta. So, cancellation ng cosine. Ang natira ay 1 over sine theta na equal to or second theta. Or second theta. So, isab natin, we have 1 over 2 integral of cosecant theta, d theta. So, ito na yung final na i-integrate natin dahil integrable na siya. So, yung mga ginamit ko dito ay basic identities lang para makonvert itong equation na ito dito. So, ang final answer natin is 1 over 2 
integral of cosine theta d theta is equal to negative ln cotangent theta plus cosecant theta. Okay, plus the constant. So, ang next na gagawin natin ay hanapan natin ng value itong cotangent theta at cosecant theta gamit itong triangle na ito. So, 1 over 2 or negative 1 over 2 ln cotangent theta is equal to ah uh, inverse ng tangent theta. So, yan ay 2 over 3x plus cosecant theta ay square root of 9x squared plus 4 over 3x plus the constant. So, addition lang, no? Pareho naman yung denominators natin. So, plus 3x. So, ito na yung final answer. Okay, third problem. We have the integral of dx over x at square root of x squared minus 9. So, meron tayong x squared dito minus 3 squared which is the u is equal to x and the a is equal to 3. So, ito ay under x squared minus a squared under ts3. So, ang gagamitin natin u sub or trigonometric sub a is equal to u u is equal to a second theta. Or x is equal to 3 second theta. So, ito yung triangle lan. So, x 3. Probably, ito ay square root of uh, x squared minus 9. At nandito yung angle. Ayun. Ayun ulit. Hanapan muna natin ng values. Yung dx, x, at yung square root of uh, x squared minus 9. So, ganun ulit, no? Hahanapan muna natin ng values. Yung dx, x, at ang square root of x squared minus 9. So, meron na tayong x. Wala pa tayong dx. So, kailangan natin i-integrate itong x. Or, I mean, i-differentiate itong x natin. So, dx is equal to 3. Uh, differential or the derivative of second theta is equal to secu tan u or second theta tangent theta d theta so ito pa wala pa tayong value ng square root of x squared minus 9 so gagamitin ko ang tangent so square root of x squared minus 9 is equal to 3 tangent theta ayun isab na natin integral of dx ay 3 second theta tangent theta d theta all over by x ang x ko ay 3 second theta ang square root of x squared minus 9 ko ay equal to 3 tangent theta so cancellation 3 second theta tangent theta so ang natira ay 1 third integral of d theta so integrable na siya agad so 1 third multiply by the integral of d theta is equal to theta plus the constant where the theta from uh, this equation x over 3 is equal to second theta so theta is equal to arc sec x over 3 so isab natin so 1 third theta is equal to arc sec x over 3 plus the constant so ito na yung final answer well I hope you guys learned something at kung may mga katanungan kayo regarding sa topic natin ngayon ay i-comment yun lang sa ating comment section. Okay? And don't forget to click the like, share, and subscribe button and also hit the notification bell if you haven't done so. Goodbye!